thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Mr. Connor. Thank you for uh, your willingness to serve. Certainly appreciate that. Uh, my first question was going to be very similar to what the chairman asked in that your, pr your prior uh, um, experience has been at the, uh, the Bureau of Reclamation, wondering uh, there are certain areas, obviously, of the core navigation and flight risk management that are areas of uh, core responsibility that you didn't really actually deal with over at uh, reclamation. I didn't know if you needed, if you wanted to address that issue more deeply, uh, how you're going to, you know, get up to speed on that. I mean, obviously you've already done a lot of research in that area. Sure, Senator, thank you. Um, a lot of, there was an overlap, certainly the Bureau of Reclamation's mission with respect to water supply in particular is fairly unique, although the Corps does have water supply responsibilities, and I talked to Senator Kramer about that. Um, but also, there is lots of overlap, and I do think where that experience will pay off, particularly in flood risk management. Uh, part of the fundamental mission of the Bureau of Reclamation was also flood control. Uh, worked very closely in the Central Valley of California with respect to Folsom Dam on a coordinated flood management program, uh, fortification of that dam and, and its spillway uh, with the Corps, jointly managing a construction project. Uh, so and the river restoration, the aquatic uh, ecosystem restoration uh, re program that the Corps has. Uh, in partnership, we wor did work with the Corps at the Bureau of Reclamation and on its own, Reclamation also had si similar uh, significant river restoration uh, opportunities. So I think there is a lot of parallels, experience mm -hmm. that will directly apply. As I mentioned, there are areas where I need to get up to speed. I'll just mention one of the hydropower, obviously, was very, very similar. Uh, in the approach that we had to take to manage that resource, deal with the changes, effects of a fluctuating water supply these days, and that will be similar with the core. Right, that's gonna be critical. Now, on the flood risk management, uh, we had a terrible flood in 2016. I might have mentioned this on the phone with you that uh, took 23 lives and destroyed more than 1,000 homes in, in West Virginia. Uh, and the core has been very active to try to help us prevent such things as happen. Uh, I did put initial funding into the Canal River Basin feasibility study to determine what additional projects might be needed to improve this flood risk management. So I'm going to ask you today, will you continue to work with me on that to initiate this study? Absolutely. Thank you. Um, we did talk on the phone about the length of time it takes for certain permitting. Uh, by the time you get all the different agencies and um, different um, um, coordination between state and local, I guess, and, and federal. Uh, I guess my question is not so much the length of time, but in your experience, do you think that fed, that states can, uh, are capable of pr protecting environmental resources such as water resources within their own borders? How do you see that interplay of cooperative federalism playing out? I, I think the most the easiest answer is yes, states are fully capable mm -hmm. of protecting their water resources. At the same time, we obviously have a system where there are state laws that apply, there are state responsibilities under federal law, and there are federal responsibilities. Uh, so we have to improve that cooperative federalism. It is absolutely critical. I am a very strong proponent of making our permitting processes as efficient as possible. Given the challenges that we face, we need to make decisions. Uh, we need to work collaboratively with state and local communities. Uh, and we need to sync up particularly amongst federal agencies. I was a member of the FAST 41 uh, task force that worked on permitting efficiencies. We need to keep the thoroughness of the reviews, but there is lost time in the lack of coordination. We need to improve uh, upon that at the federal level and then take that the next step, uh, work in partnership with the states. I certainly agree with that. I mean, when you look at the different agencies that, that weigh in on whatever project it might be, Fish and Wildlife, EPA, the core, by the time you go through the permitting process of all that, you're into, into years. Uh, and, and years not only don't solve the problem, but they also cost a lot of money at the same time. And a lot of people walk away from projects at certain periods of time because they just obviously can't afford to stay in the process. So however we can help you with that, we'd certainly like to see the thoroughness there, but also the timeliness uh, at the same time. My last question for right now is on the WOTUS rule. I mentioned it in my opening statement. Uh, I know you're not at the core yet, but um, the rationale for taking the WOTUS regulations, we obviously saw it in court all over the country with sort of mixed results in terms of who's, who's, who's acting under it, who isn't. A lot of confusion for a lot of different uh, a range of whether it's personal, golf courses, agriculture, whatever it might be. So what challenges do you think the Corps will face uh, 
including related to uh, obtaining permits for core projects if, if a new WOTUS definition is finalized that is more expansive than the 2015 rule? Well, the rule, Senator, um, the rule has changed so many times over the years that I'm not sure the challenges are going to be any different. We need to have a clear uh, definition of waters of the U.S., one that is protective as it should be under the Clean Water Act, but one that provides uh, uh, clarity and I think, you know, the goal from what I understand in embarking upon a new rule is to work very closely uh, with the uh, affected parties uh, under that rule. And so my goal would be to be, have a clear rule that has some enough level of input that hopefully we can get out of this litigation cycle and that we can move on with a rule uh, that's going to be in place for a number of years. That should be the goal. That will do the most, I think, to help the core in its permitting ability and its responsibilities for making jurisdictional determinations if we have some clarity and we have some longevity to the next rule and that's going to require some collaboration working with stakeholders and i believe that's the game plan thank you well we'll be we'll be watching that and uh, appreciate your input on that thank you